Greetings, it's Alex McClellan for the Shelburne Freelancer. I'm here today at Glenbrook Elementary School here in Shelburne, and I'm here today with... Viola Brown. And Viola Brown, our viewers may recognize from five years ago, has been doing something very special. And I'm here today to follow up and get a video of the special things she's doing right now today. And she'll explain why her hair looks the way it does. So, hi. Can you tell our viewers why you're here today? I am here because today I am going bald for cancer. Why is that important to you? Because when I was five, I saw a little boy who had cancer, and I asked my parents why he was bald, and my parents told me all about cancer. So that night, I grabbed scissors and I cut off all my hair, and I brought it to my mom, and I said, Mom, this is for the little boy. And have you been doing this ever since, every year, ever since? Hi, Glenbrook. And why is it important to you to keep doing it? Because it's like a tradition. It's something that I love to do. It makes me happy inside. Have you inspired other people to do it as well? Yeah. I have inspired almost our entire school to help fundraising, cutting their hair. Cool. Yes, I did. So you started this here at the school, didn't you? Yes, I did. And can you tell our viewers what people do with the hair after it's been cut? They make it into hair pieces or wigs. For who? For people, for women or men with cancer. Even children? Yeah, children too. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Viola. And do you have a last message you'd like to say to people if they were thinking that they'd like to help people too? Just to, it's a great event and it helps a lot of people. So I do encourage you because hair does grow. And do you find kids are powerful? Yes. And you can make things happen? And you wish to inspire others? So any kid your age, any size watching this, yeah. they if they have a dream they want to help someone, what can they do about it? They can do something about it. They can go to a parent and say they want to do this. They could go to a teacher, there anyone, a garden, guardian, anyone that's with them, say that they want to start something. You are an inspiration to me, young lady. Thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. Bye for now and see you next year. Uh, we're so thrilled to have you here. And I want to introduce the girl that got this all going five years ago when she was in grade one. And her name is Viola Brown. So let's give a clap for her.
Cancer certainly causes damage to women on many levels, physically and emotionally. And having a wig is a key part of the healing process so they feel better about themselves and the journey that they're facing. Putting on a wig makes you feel like you're, you're still you.